electricity. Well, it's estimated that anywhere from 1.1 billion to 1.3 billion people live without electric power. To make up for a lack of deliverable energy, nearly 3 billion people around the world use coal or wood fuel for heat and cooking, contributing to deadly pollution. This pollution is thought to be responsible for more than 4 million deaths every year. The problem we're tackling with our project is the lack of uh, electricity in rural areas uh, and the uh, increasing pollution of water resources. So what our prototype, which we have named a bacterial soil electricity generator, BSEC, does is uh, it produces electricity from wastewater by mimicking the bacterial interactions found in nature. So the prototype consists of cathode and anode chamber connected with a salt base made up of cotton rope soaked in a supersaturated salt solution. The purple cathode chamber consists of soil solution with a bacteria and this blue, uh, blue anode chamber consists of salt solution. Both chambers consist of graphite as, uh, graphite as an electrode and the bottom carbon is used to uh, give the stability to the product. Since we don't have access to wastewater, we are using the top soil. Uh, top soil cons consists of root nodules bacteria which are equally effective. And later we will add some glucose uh, as a food for those bacteria. So that will be enough and our cathode chamber is ready. So uh, during the reaction, uh, the bacteria acts upon the soil uh, back acts on the soil and the glucose present in our uh, cathode and produces protons and electrons. So the proton needs to uh, get transferred to an anode so that a potential difference is created. Uh, but we need uh, we need a way to transfer the proton from the cathode to the anode. So we need a uh, we need a chamber that that uh, that have, will help us to like transfer protons. So um, commercially and on the internet, we found some uh, alternatives like proton exchange membrane, but they were like really expensive and we couldn't afford it. So we made our own uh, proton exchange membrane. Uh, so we made our own uh, proton exchange membrane of cotton cloth tied with tapes. Um, so. This solution, when dipped in salt solution, will act as conducting membrane for for the proton produced in the reaction, and and will help us to like create a potential difference. So, so in this way, the proton chamber will fit on, fit in our prototype. So for our uh, yeah, for our electrolytic cell, uh, we we decided to uh, buy. Uh, graphite conductors as anode and cathode as they were the cheapest and the most available for us. So we use them as electrodes in our reaction for the transfer of electrons and sensors in the internet for the product and we found a similar product named the microbial fuel cell uh, but our product was uh, unique in many ways and the three competitors are a urinary prototype that uses urinal fuel cell to generate electricity. The second competitor is a microbial fuel cell, which is a source of energy from waste. And lastly, a single chambered fuel cell is the third competitor, which is fed by wastewater to produce electricity. Products start from all the product types of cost materials. We tend to use low cost materials like graphite for our electrodes and cotton dipped in spatulated solution for our potential membrane to make the cost cheaper. So we started, so when we started the experiment, we were measuring this, about 50 millivolts and now we are measuring uh, 240 millivolts. That means the bacterial action has increased since we first began the experiment.